Hello, and welcome to the Hariba U52 multi-parameter water quality sonde calibration training video. First, we'll be discussing the components of this instrument. First, we have the handheld and the sonde. Moving clockwise around the sonde, the first is the turbidity sensor, which is the largest part, the pH reference sensor, the ORP sensor, the pH sensor, the specific conductance sensor, and the galvanic dissolved oxygen sensor. For this calibration, you'll need storage and calibration cups, autocal solution, turbidity 100 NTU, pH buffers 7 and 10, ORP standard, and DO solution. Our first step is an auto calibration. This is going to calibrate our temperature, our total dissolved solids, our conductivity, and our 0.0, .0 baseline turbidity measurement. First, pour your autocal solution into the calibration cup and then put the calibration cup into the storage cup for excess. You always want to make sure that the cup is filled about one inch above the indentation. And then insert the probe. Solutions do expire, so make sure to double check the dates before you calibrate any instrument. Once the probe is inserted, press cal, then arrow down to auto calibration and press enter. Press enter again if it prompts you to immerse the sensor again. Once the numbers stabilize, your calibration is complete. Write down the number that you get for milligrams per liter DO. You'll need it for the last step. Then you can press enter. Before dumping out your solution, we'll have to calibrate the 0.0, .0 NTU turbidity value. To do this, press cal, go down to manual calibration, move to turbidity, use two points and the value as 0.0, .0 NTU. Once the numbers stabilize, your calibration is complete. Press enter and go ahead and dump out that autocal solution. Next, we're going to calibrate the 100.00 NTU turbidity value. Pour your solution into the cup and insert your probe. The solution should be very murky as it is 100.00 NTU. As before, choose a manual calibration for turbidity and make the value 100 NTU. Once the numbers have stabilized, you can move on to the next step and dump out your solution. In the next step, we'll calibrate the pH 7 buffer. Pour the correct solution into the cup and insert the probe. Choose a manual two-point calibration for pH. Make the first value seven and calibrate. Once the number is stabilized, your calibration is complete. Press enter and dump out that solution. For the pH 10 buffer, you're going to repeat the same exact calibration process you did with the pH seven, except the value is now 10.00. Next, we're going to complete two calibrations at the same time. The first is ORP 220 millivolt, and the second is the galvanic dissolved oxygen. In order to do this, you'll need two small plastic caps. This is the best way to do it because they fit right onto the probes. Put ORP standard in one cap and the DO solution into another, and place them over their respective probes. First, calibrate your ORP and make the value 220 positive millivolts. Then complete a two point calibration for dissolved oxygen, making your value 0.0, .0 milligrams per liter. The final step in this calibration process is to do a dissolved oxygen open air calibration. We need to do this because the dissolved oxygen sensor doesn't necessarily touch the solutions at all times. So we're going to do this without any solutions. You'll simply take the value that you wrote down at the very beginning of the calibration process and input it into your value. This one is 11.05 milligrams per liter, but yours can definitely be different. Once your numbers have stabilized here, press enter and your calibration is complete. Thanks for watching this video on how to calibrate the Hariba U52 water quality multi-parameter meter. 
If there are any further questions, please feel free to call us on our 24-hour tech support line at 412-436-2600.